But you were born with mischief in your eyes and fire in your veins. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to part two of my wrap up for the month of October. So, yeah, I read a lot of books this month. It is officially over, though, so there we go. Uh, so let's just get into it with the next ten books that I read since uh, part one's wrap-up. So the first book I read for this part was Ice Like Fire by Sarah Rash. Um, <clears throat> this book, it was just so, 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 so good. Um, I need the third book, like, yesterday because this book I just want to keep reading I want to know what happens and uh the ending of it it's just like ugh, I need to know what's going on now and I give this a five out of five stars and I am so glad that I was I was able to get my hands on a copy of this um I don't know if I've said it on the channel but I actually had a hard time finding this um for some reason none of my bookstores had it um for, like, almost a week, I think. I don't know. Like, I I got lucky and happened to go on to BarnesandNoble.com one day and realized that they finally had it in stock at my Barnes & Noble, which is a half hour away. So it was a bit of a drive, but luckily I managed to get, like, the first copy they had because they hadn't even shelved them yet. It was really, really odd. But I'm very happy I got that. After that, I read The Wrath of the Dawn by Renee Adé. Um, this was a, an amazing book. She is such an amazing writer, but it was a little bit predictable. But I think, you know, because it's a retelling, um, that's to be expected. That it's you're, you're going to know what happens. Um, but I definitely can't wait for book two, and I actually gave this a four out of five stars. After that, I read a the first four chapters of Soundless by Rochelle Mead. These were uh, free previews on NetGalley. Uh, you were automatically approved to read them, so I read them. Um, I really enjoyed the previews, and I'm definitely going to be reading the full book. I already plan to buy it when it comes out. And the preview, I decided to give 5 out of 5 stars because I definitely enjoyed it. I know a lot of people have been like that it's really slow and it's predictable and boring. I don't feel that way with the first four chapters that I read. I have not read the chapter 5 preview. Um, but at this point, I'm just going to wait and just go buy it when it comes out. Um, after that, I did a another... E Galley, which was the Buzz Books 2015 Young Adult Preview, which previewed 20 different books um, and gave you like little excerpts. Most of the previews were all right. I didn't really enjoy them, um, and I actually ended up skipping one because it was a sequel to a book I have never read. So I was like, "Eh, I don't want to read it and then have something spoiled for me if I decide to ever get into this series." Um, but I did end up enjoying Inherit the Stars so much that I ended up getting the full e-galley, so that'll be coming up in my November wrap-up. I do plan to read that in November, um, but I have already hauled that in my October haul, which was already up on my channel. Um, I'm definitely going to be buying a copy of Legacy of Kings. Unfortunately, my library doesn't have it, so I'm going to buy a copy of it. Um... And now I'm even more excited to read Illuminae than I already was because I got to read the preview for it. Um, I do want to read Not If I See You first. And I also um, definitely am going to start... I'm definitely going to read Dumplin now. Um, hopefully my library will have some of those because it's getting to the point where I, I have nowhere to put books. So I need to start borrowing more from my library, honestly. Um, but overall, I did end up giving this preview a 4 out of 5 stars, only because it did help me discover some new books that I was not planning to read. Like, I honestly wasn't going to read Dumplin'. I wasn't going to read Not If I See You First. Um, Legacy of Kings, I was kind of up in the air on. So, it did help me overall. Uh, 
After that was another preview on, on NetGalley, and that was the preview for Serafina, which came out a long time ago, but, you know, I was going to read the preview, and now I definitely want to rent it. Um, my library has it. Unfortunately, it wasn't in when I went to the library, but it was pretty interesting, and I'm definitely going to read it, like I said, uh, and I gave the preview 4 out of 5 stars. After that, I read Halo by Alexandra Adornetto, and if you've seen my book outlet unboxing, you will know that how much I loved this book to the point where I went out and when I where I went on book outlet and I bought the third book the day after I read this because I had already had the second book. Um, but this, I just absolutely loved it. It was an incredibly easy read for being quite religious. I am not a religious person. I, uh, it was, I'm one of those people where religion was shoved in my head too much as a child, and now I don't, I don't want anything to do with it. I can't. So, for me to read a book like this, like, I do like Angel Books. I did read the Pendant and the End of Days series, and I enjoyed it for the most part. But something like this, where it's heavily religious, um... I wasn't actually sure about, because I hadn't known it when I bought Halo and Hades that it was so religious aspect of it, but I really enjoyed it. Uh, I ended up giving it a 5 out of 5 stars, so that's saying something for me where I I don't want to read it, I don't want to hear it. I really, really liked this. After that, I read Betrayed by PC and Kristen Cast, and honestly, none of these are in order on my sheet. Like, as always, I just kind of wrote as I went. <laughs> um, but this one was still so slow. This one was the one that came right after Marked in the House of Night series. Um, but this one definitely picked up. The action is was definitely getting better by this book, um, and I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. After that, I read Opal by Jennifer L. Armitrout, and I really enjoyed this, but the ending came way too fast in it. Um, this, this one part could have easily been longer, and it would have still been just as good. Um, and I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. After that, I read Origin by Jennifer L. Armitrout, because I have to bind up, obviously. Um... But this one was so, 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 so good. Um, I loved a lot of the stuff that happened in that. I don't want to give anything out, though, so I'm not going to talk about it that much. But I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. And my final book for this this part of the wrap-up is Opposition by Jennifer L. Armitrout. Yes, I power-read the last three books in the series all at once. Um... This one made me crack up so hard. Um, it was an amazing end to the book. It was an amazing end to the series because as I was... I kept saying I think there was a sixth book coming out. It's actually a novella. So I'm a little sad. But at the same time, this was definitely an amazing end. And I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. So... That is all for this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye, everyone. Cause you were born with mischief in your